Imagine having a superhero-like ability at your fingertips, allowing you to join the battle and tackle cyber threats the moment they are spotted. That's exactly what Live Response does for security operations teams. With a quick remote shell connection, you're on the device or machine that might be under attack. Hello world and welcome to a brand new Azure vlog. I hope you're doing well, I'm doing fine. So in this video I would like to talk about the live response capabilities in Defender for Endpoint. Live response gives security operations teams instantaneously access to a device or machine using a remote shell connection. This gives you the power to do in-depth investigative work and take immediate response actions to properly contain identified threats in real time. So let's talk about the situation where you would like to use live response. Imagine the situation that Defender triggered an incident that a compromised file has been found uh, on one of your endpoints. It is stated that the file has been removed, but when you're investigating the incident uh, and, and look through all the logs and stuff, you see that there might be more of those files uh, on the workstation. This is the moment where you can start a live response session and do the investigation yourself. Navigate through the workstation using a, a common shell, execute remediation actions, analyzing actions etc so let's see that in action but before i'm going to show you how live response works let's first grab a good cup of coffee That was a very nice cup of coffee. Cybersecurity and coffee are, uh, are the best actually. So let's hop over to the Defender portal because I heard you, you want demos, you don't want the talking headshots. Let's head over to the Defender portal and I'll show you around on how we can enable live response. So here we are in the Defender portal and if I go down all the way here and go to settings, this is where we have endpoints and within the advanced features we can turn on or can turn off uh, live response so let's wait for it to load if we scroll down a bit we over here have live response for servers and we have live response for endpoints so you can turn this on also thing over here uh, that might be interesting for you that is live response uh, unsigned script execution. So using live response we can execute commands and scripts and by default only signed scripts are allowed. So if you would like to run a unsigned script you should enable this setting over here. In my case I will turn this one on. Hit save preferences. 
my preference are saved. So within a few minutes, I can use live response. So I just downloaded iCar at one of the workstations that's enrolled in this Defender for Endpoint instance. So we should trigger a incident. From within the incident page, we can later start our live response uh, session to run the comments and stuff on our workstation. Right, so if we go to incident and alert in the left menu and go to incidents, you'll see that we have triggered the, uh, the iCard test file malware prevented alert. So let's open this. We now have the incident page and there is a tab called assets. Here we can see the devices that were used uh, or actually uh, part of this, uh, this incident. I have my machine over here. I can click on this. And what I can do over here is initiate a live response session. I can do all kinds of other stuff over here to uh, mitigate and investigate the incident. But in order to start the live response session, we have to click on this one. This actually will start the session for me. As you can see, we have a prompt over here. And we have uh, a lot of, of details. You'll see that the uh, session is uh, created by, uh, by me. We have device information over here. You can see that we are running uh, Windows uh, 11. Uh, it's active. We have the IP address over here. It's onboarded all stuff related to our uh, device. I can type help over here and that will give me all the commands that we actually can execute uh, on this device. So I downloaded iCard to the downloads cell folder. Let's see if it's uh, still there. I can hit there to list all the directories. I can say uh, cd users, let's find my user over there, cd Elon Nissan, cd downloads, if I now run there, should be uh, a iCar dot uh, txt. This is actually the, the file that generated this, uh, this incident. Okay, so let's say I would like to remediate the file. I can uh, first have a look at the remediate command. Let's type help remediate. That will show me how I can run this command. So remediate file. Let's do the icar onet XT. And it's uh, finished now. If I hit there for directory, list all the directory content, you'll see that my file has been removed. This is awesome. And let's have a look at the other commands that were available. If I hit CLS to clear the screen, I can type help. It will give me all the, uh, the comments that I can, can use. Uh, and let's go uh, through them. So here we have uh, a CD that's uh, probably already known to you. You can change the directory. There we already use that. Uh, we have an analyze command to analyze a, a file. Uh, instead of remediation, I could also have run the analyze command that will trigger a uh, analyze command uh, again. I uh, have a file info command, a get file uh, command to download the file from a device. I have a processes command and a lot more. Uh, there's actually a, a good page on, on Microsoft Docs that describes all the commands and where you can use them for. I've linked that below in the description of this, uh, this video. But let's for, uh, for the sake, let's run a, uh, a comment. So uh, processes was one of the comments. So we can see uh, all the running processes on the uh, machine. As you can see over here, MS Edge is running. So virtual machines actually on my other screen over here and I have opened Microsoft Edge. So that's 
really uh, awesome to see over here. So this is a very powerful way to uh, investigate our uh, incident. That's hun run directory again. And we see that sys internals is also uh, on this uh, machine. Let's run uh, uh, get file sys internals suite.zip. According to the documentation, this is a command that I can use to download a file so I can investigate it further on my investigation uh, uh, workstation. So let's wait for it uh, to complete. The file download is uh, started. And here it is. It just downloaded it to my uh, workstation. So we should be very safe over here with what we download. We can download malware directly from that endpoint to our uh, workstation that we use as a SOC analyst. So be very careful with uh, what you download uh, over there. Because before you know, the malware spreads to your SOC workstation and we don't want that to happen. So be careful uh, over there. So after we are finished, we can check the, uh, the command log that we execute. So we see all the commands here that were executed and with their status. And uh, once we are finished, we can uh, disconnect the session over here. Let's hit confirm. Now our session is, uh, it dis is disconnected. Very nice. And with that, you've now seen how we can investigate and remediate stuff uh, using live response on one of our endpoints. There is actually a lot more to tell about live response. For example, about the library, which we haven't touched today. The library is a, uh, some kind of share that we can use to put PowerShell scripts and stuff on to share with the endpoint on which we are remediating or investigating. If you want to learn more about uh, live response, please let me know in the comments so I know I need to create a, a follow-up video. That being said, if you like this content, please hit the thumbs up button, of course subscribe to this channel, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.